Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss an important concept in computer network that is the concept of virtual LAN. So we have cre we have uh, discussed in some of the video about on the concept about local area network or a LAN. So specifically we discussed that computer network created in a small geographically restricted area is known as uh, uh, local area network or a LAN. And uh, that LAN can be within a single building like this, or the LAN can be between adjacent buildings as well, like here. So these are two adjacent buildings, and the LAN can be established between those two buildings. But the condition was that that the radius of they should have a area in such a way that the radius should be less than one kilometer. Now with this general definition of local area network, let's move to the discussion of virtual LAN. So to discuss the virtual LAN, let us discuss a more stricter definition of the local area network itself. So that is a computer network created within a same broadcast domain. Before we discuss that they should be in, in, in small geographic area, a local area network, but now we're discussing that a local area network is a computer network created within a same broadcast domain. Okay, now what is broadcast domain? So for example, this is a local area network. In a broadcast domain, if any of the devices in the local area network sends a frame, then every other device receives a copy of it. So if any, for example, if this any of the computer sends a broadcast frame, then that should be received by all of the computer nodes within that network. If this is the case, then we can say that this is a single broadcast domain. Now, it means if there is a local area network between adjacent buildings, then again, the same definition should hold that if a computer is sending a broadcast frame or broadcast message, then all of the computer, whether they are in this building or in this building, they should all receive that frame. If this is the condition, then we will say that this is a local area network which is which is being formed within the uh, single broadcast domain. Okay, so this is the broadcast domain. Now, as per by default setting of a switch, the switch considers all connected nodes to be part of a single broadcast domain. What does it mean? So this is a switch. So by, by default, this iOS will have some settings. And by default, this switch considers these all connected nodes. So these nodes will be connected using these ports. So switch considers that these all nodes, which may be connected with any of the ports, they belong to a single broadcast domain, one broadcast domain. So if this is the case, if all of the nodes belong to the same broadcast domain, it means switch can only create a single local area network by default. This is a by default setting of a switch. Clear? Because it considers all the connected nodes to be within the single broadcast domain. And if they are only creating single broadcast domain, it means they are creating single local area network. And what happens here, if a user, for example here, if this user sends a frame, then this frame will be received by the, by the switch, and the switch will send a copy of that frame to all of the remaining nodes connected with the same switch. So this is the by default operation of a switch. Now for instance, a need arises and we need to create two broadcast domains. Two broadcast domains means, in other words, we need to create two local area networks. So, with, on the basis of our uh, study, we know that every switch creates one broadcast domain. It means we need two switches to create two local area networks on the basis of two broadcast domains. So this will be one broadcast domain for, formed by this switch, this one broadcast domain and this is second broadcast domain and we purchased two switches for that and as a result we developed two broadcast domains and hence two local area networks. 
one is this one and second one is this so we created two local area networks using two switches so there may be the question why do we need so we, we are going to discuss the advantage of this and later on but at the moment you see we we wanted to create two networks two local area networks and for that we create we we purchased two switches now actually there is a solution provided by the cisco switches so by using the same switch we can actually create two broadcast domains so what happens here in the switch we have multiple ports here so what we do we we just divide those ports and some of the ports we uh, we uh, we configure them to be member of one broadcast domain and for some of the ports we say that they are in other broadcast domain if they are in other broadcast domain it means we have created a new local area network for that so for instance we created a broadcast domain in which only these these ports are belonging to one broadcast domain so we have configured these ports in such a way that they are member of one broadcast domain so this is broadcast domain one and then we consider the rest of the ports in a such a way that now they are member of broadcast domain two so same switch single switch some of the ports are member of broadcast domain one and some of the ports are members of broadcast broadcast domain two in this way we have created two broadcast domains which are actually creating two lanes two local area networks and when we are creating with the help of switch so here so some of uh, the ports are members of broadcast domain one and some of the ports are members of broadcast domain two and these broadcast domains created by switch are called virtual lanes so this trick of creating multiple broadcast domain with a single switch so with the help of a switch sometimes we use multiple switches as well so by with the help of switch when we create multiple broadcast domain or multiple uh, lanes those lanes are actually called as virtual lanes clear so this is the definition of virtual lane that the broadcast domain created by the switch by dividing those ports which are available in the switch into multiple broadcast domain if you are creating multiple multiple broadcast domains it means we are creating multiple local area networks when we are creating those local area networks or multiple uh, broadcast domains we call them virtual lanes clear yeah? because we discuss as per definition local area and network contain a, a separate broadcast domain if you are creating multiple broadcast domain with the help of switch it means we are creating multiple local area networks and those local area networks are known as virtual local area networks now we can actually create vlans or virtual local area network across multiple switches as well before that we used only a single switch and within the single switch we, we divided some of the ports into broadcast domain 1 and some of the ports in broadcast domain 2 so now if you have multiple switches then we can again create uh, vlan and in this case interestingly if you look at some of the ports from here and some of the ports from here can be made part of a single broadcast domain even they are separate switches but some of the ports from one switch and some of the ports are interfaces from another switch we combine them and we make them a single broadcast domain so for instance here if we see say for example these ports from this switch and these ports from this switch they are com combined by configuration of course we need to use some commands to do that by configuration in the cisco ios 
we what we do we divide we we take some of the ports from switch one some of the ports from switch two and we combine them and we make them the member of broadcast domain one so uh, members of a single broadcast domain in the same way we can combine the outer maybe these this part of the ports and this part of the ports from this switch so these are two switches and we are combining these ports into a sync a second broadcast domain. So here, this is broadcast domain one and this is broadcast domain two. So in this way, as per definition, we have created a VLAN one here, VLAN two here. It can be any name, but one VLAN here and one VLAN here. So with this trick, by using multiple switches, we can also create multiple VLANs. So, this is how we create VLANs with the help of switch. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, at least the definition is clear. And uh, in the next part, I'll, I'll discuss about the advantages of creating virtual lanes. So till then, thank you.